Hello all, welcome to the Zoho Finance Masterclass. I'm Maruti Kumar and I'll be your speaker for this presentation. The Zoho Finance Masterclass is a series of webinars that will help you utilize all our Zoho Finance products to the maximum. Please note that this is not a typical product demo, rather a webinar that will talk about the different possible ways you can use each and every product under the Zoho Finance suit. The Zoho Finance Suit is a comprehensive suit of financial applications that will help you run your entire back office. We have Zoho Books, Zoho Invoice, Zoho Expense, Zoho Inventory, Zoho Subscriptions and Zoho Checkout as a part of the Zoho Finance Suit. We've started this webinar series with Zoho Books. Zoho Books is our online accounting software that will help small and medium businesses manage their entire business finances by automating their sales purchases, helps them track their inventory, automatically fetches in bank statements, and finally provides them with a multitude of financial reports. The core structure of this webinar series consists of a list of 13 webinars that will talk about the different product functionalities of Zoho Books, right from setting up your Zoho Books account to getting paid faster with Zoho Books. In this webinar, I'll be talking about getting paid faster with Zoho Books and WePay. If you'd like to watch our previous webinars from this series, please visit our website www.zoho.com books. The agenda for this webinar will be setting up your WePay account inside Zoho Books, accepting payments through WePay, and finally reconciling WePay transactions from within Zoho Books. So let's get started. First up is setting up your BPay account. This is the dashboard of your Zoho Books account. Go to the uh, settings from the top right. Click on the integrations and under online payments, you'll find the BPay option. You can uh, create your BPay account directly from within Zoho Books. To do so, click on this option. All the basic information like your email and the first and last name will automatically be populated from Zoho Books. Agree to the terms of service by clicking on this checkbox and click on confirm. Once done, an email will be generated and sent to your inbox. Go to your inbox, click on the email and click proceed. This will take you to a secure page where you can enter your business details. Let's say I select retail goods and give a suitable uh, EIN number. Business name, a suitable description. phone number contact address and save it. Give, a suitable, uh, give your uh, company's website, all the other information and click on save and next. In this page, you can connect your account. To do so, Enter all the necessary details. Once done, your VP account will be set up. 
and click on manage accounts log in to your uh, vp account verify Voila, you've created your uh, VPA account directly from within Zoho Books. So, next up is accept accepting payments through VPA. To do that, go to your Zoho Books account. While creating an invoice, to create an invoice, Click on the sale, invoices under the sales tab. Click on the plus new button. Enter the customer's name, all the necessary details. Create an item. And I've checked the box that says VPay so that uh, the VPay payment option will be available to your, uh, in your invoices for your customers, customers to pay. Save as draft. So once you've sent your uh, mail to the customers, once you've sent your invoice to the customers, they'll be able to pay you through the payment options, which is VPay. This is as simple as that. Once you've uh, you know sent your invoices uh, to your customers and you've you know gotten paid through VPay, next step is to reconcile your VPay transactions with your bank transactions. This can be done from within Zoho Books itself. To do that, go to your uh, Zoho Books account, click on the banking module. So as and when you connect your uh, VPay account with your Zoho Books account, a VPay clearing account will automatically be created. You can click on that to view all the transactions that that you uh, you know that your customers have paid through uh, VPay. So all these uh, payments will be automatically fetched uh, inside Zoho Books. Once you have all the entries, the next thing uh, you know uh, you'd need to reconcile your transaction is to transfer this particular uh, transact. I mean transaction to uh, to a bank. As in, you'll have to manually uh, transfer this amount to a bank account. To do that, click on Add Transactions, transfer to another account. Select the two account as your bank account, which is Zoho Books in this case. Enter the uh, exact value and save it. So once you save it, you can reconcile it by clicking on the uh, banking module here, going to your uh, bank. Clicking on uncategorized transaction. So here is a uh, deposit of uh, hundred dollars in your bank account. So this is the uh, bank's uh, statement that that uh, Zoho Books fetches from your bank. Oh, by the way, all the transactions with your uh, bank account will be automatically fetched inside Zoho Books. This is one of the nifty features. To know more about the banking module, please visit our website www.zoho.com/books and watch our uh, webinar on. Uh, Banking, what's our webinar on the banking module as a part of the Zoho Finance Masterclass? So, click on this payment to, to, to match this payment. Click on this payment, scroll down, and you'll find a transfer fund of uh, 96.95 from the VPay clearing account. Select it, add an adjustment. So, uh, there'll be a discrepancy of $3.05, which is nothing but your VPay fee. You can uh, add adjustment by clicking on the plus add adjustment button here. Select the account as other charges, which is uh, your uh, VPA charges. Give a reference number if you need and click on OK. Once done, click on the match uh, option here. And voila, your uh, bank transaction is reconciled with your uh, VPA transaction.
so this is pretty much how reconciliation works in uh, Zoho books so now that I've told you how to set up your uh, VPA accept payments through VPA and finally reconcile VPA transactions we come to, we've come to the end of the webinar so here's a recap I told you how to set up your uh, VPA account from within Zoho books account and then I've told you how to add your uh, how to add VPA uh, in your in the invoices that you create so that your customers can pay through your VPA account and finally I showed you how to uh, reconcile all the VPA transactions that will be fetched into your Zoho books account if you have any doubt please contact us uh, in this support uh, number you can also reach out to us through our email address support at zohobooks.com please uh, look out for our help documentation and frequently ask questions if you have any doubts now is the time to ask thank you so much for attending this webinar